Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Quite the Hopium filled title today. Some hidden secret Bitcoin signal that no one's watching it. I'm revealing it to you now because it's going to tell you when to buy and when the crash is exactly coming so you can buy the bottoms and sell the tops. Yes, I get it. The point today is I want to go through many of these signals which we've seen over Twitter and YouTube forever in the crypto space and more recently now as there isn't much news coming out as we continue to meddle around these low levels of the $30,000 Bitcoin. There's always something new and hidden that you weren't seeing before and it's preying on the new people. So I'm no savior here. It's just a little bit silly to be thinking that there are all these hidden signals, especially when we know that professional old school investors and new investors who are doing very well know that there are no secrets. There are no secrets in the game. It's just hard work. You just got to understand something that you are familiar with or something that resonates with you and work on that time and time again. So that's what we're diving into in today's video. Maybe something a little more refreshing. It is not FUD. Chill out and hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Bell notification icon. Let's dive in. And we're beginning with the crypto market capitalizations. Bitcoin, 672 billion. Ethereum, 261 billion. We have seen about a 5% drop. Everyone was freaking out. I turned on my Twitter this morning at some stupid hour at 5 a.m. as I was getting out of bed, look after the little one, and people are going nuts over this drop. So I started posting. And yes, it is quite an emotional time, even though it's just 5%. Remember where we have come from. These prices are still higher than the 19th of May. One month ago, we had the mega crash. Now we're going to get into that as well. Look at our plan because these top 20 are pretty much doing the same thing. 5%, not much is going on. At the end of the video, I'll show you one of my favorites as well in this space, in that top 30 space. And I am leaving it till the end. So stick around for that. Crypto, fear and greed. 23. I was wishing we would hit that 15 or under because as we know from our testing plan, this is not a plan to be used as it is. There's still some more features that need to be added like when to sell, have a filter of when we should be buying, when we shouldn't be. This is just a test, okay? I do see a lot of people saying that they want to use this and they're just using it 100%. Look, as long as you're testing it and you're figuring out how it works best for you, go for gold. So here we got today's, uh, we're the 19th of June and today, there is no buy signal. According to this, buy when fear is 15 or less. We're around $36,000 currently, 36,200. But let's say 36,000. Our plan is still up. After buying over the last month, we're still up 1% even after all of these drops and increases. And so this is how I create a plan to get me into the market and make sure I'm buying at those low times when it is very fearful. And as we saw, Fear is just not there yet, 23. So this is the Bitcoin chart at the moment. We are heading our way just above the 50% zone again of this smaller range. And uh, long-term followers, you guys know, we look at 50% all the time. I'm going to do this in a little more detail in another video today coming out later. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. We're going to specifically look at Cardano, but it's the rules and understanding them how they work. And the understanding the rules in a particular theory or analysis is very important because of all of these signals, massive hidden agenda signals that are being revealed now. Absolutely nonsense because signals don't work in solitude. And what I'm talking about here is stuff like the 200 week moving average, the stock to flow model. This is not a hidden secret narrative with looking at the RSI divergence at the low here. The Bitcoin death cross, this is not used on its own. Traditional uh, traders and investors understand that these things are not used on their own. They're not hidden signals which people aren't looking at. Yes, I understand that they are used in titles and they work for the search engine optimizations and people click on them. They do very, very well. We get that. But I just want to show you that these things are good, but not in not on their own. You don't just pick one and if it shows up as a signal, then you go and act on that one signal. These things are used in conjunction with other plans. And it's not just a standalone thing that says, when this happens, buy. When this happens, sell. They're used together with other rules. And the other one we've looked at here is uh, the stablecoin ratio. When stablecoins flood onto the market, Bitcoin's going to dump. When they uh, come off the market, Bitcoin's going to skyrocket or vice versa. 
unless they've been back tested and you've gone through and checked the last 12 years of history to see how often they happen and it's not 100 percent if it happens 80 percent of the time that's a pretty good uh, hit rate but you just got to understand that a two out of ten times one out of five times it's not going to work and that's okay that's the way plans work nothing is 100 percent and for new investors they look for and i was definitely in this boat i look for a holy grail I did that for years and years. Looking for a holy grail, there is no holy grail. The holy grail is to do the work and to continue to study and just follow the markets day to day for your long-term investing as well because you're going to get that experience. And so if I'm looking for a holy grail like this one hidden massive signal that no one's watching, uh, I'm, I'm basically leading myself down the path of all other newbie traders who will eventually get burnt out and lose their money because as I've said, there is no holy grail. So the, the stable coin ratio. Last one that we've looked at also is the, the BTC shorts. So you've seen this pop up time and time again. Look at these shorts skyrocket. Bitcoin is going to go to the moon because everyone's trying to short it and it's not going anywhere. And eventually the shorts are going to get short squeezed and liquidated, meaning everyone's trying to sell the market. Nothing's happening. So eventually they're going to have to buy back and the, the price will skyrocket. This does work. I'm not saying it doesn't but it's not something to be used on its own. And we've seen this skyrocket and everyone's saying this is, should be going to the moon. And we just saw a 5 or 6% drop, which kind of doesn't make sense towards this. Now, as I said, if this is part of your plan and you've tested it and you use it in conjunction with other rules, other charts, other uh, reasoning, then keep using it. Keep using it. You know that if you put this into a plan and it works, and you've got a nice hit rate and you know what you're doing when it comes to how much you're going to buy and your risk management that's a different story but in terms of seeing this on a youtube video or a twitter post once every so often when it's the next latest thing that people are all talking about that's what gets new people wrecked and it gives technical analysis a bad name because this is not a theory within its itself you need to look at a theory in general say we look at Wyckoff. We look at the Wyckoff method and Wyckoff has a method to where he sees accumulations to distributions, basically where people are all buying, whales are buying or whales are selling. He has a method to that to, to understand when is a good time, when isn't a good time, when to just sit back and let the market ride. Same deal with GAN. We look at GAN often and GAN had a full plan to that. There are dozens of books of GAN online that explain when he buys, when he sells, what he was doing through the markets through the early 1900s for his entire plans. So that is something to look at. If you are interested, that's what I would be looking at. And of course, we do have the Investor Accelerator down below. You don't have to get that. Everything online is free these days, but it's just a matter of how it's structured and how it works best for you. So check these out online. See if it's something that is suitable for your plans. Wyckoff Method, go through and read these and understand the points in the market, but don't go adding in all these different pieces when there's already a plan set up then it just starts to get very very confusing and then also we're not going to just use one idea in solitude and again these aren't bad on their own that's not what my point is it's just more or less not to get ripped up and burnt by hidden signals massive signs etc etc all right so bitcoin not much is happening here we are seeing our accumulation uh, our accumulation schematic here we knew this was happening. We had a little spike up, hit some resistance. We're coming back. Should we break down past 30K? I think we're all okay with that. Or I hope we are. And just know that we've still got plenty of time. I don't think we're in any sort of springtime just yet. We've gone up for 60 odd weeks. I'm expecting a good 25 to 35, like I've said before, maybe on 28 to 30 weeks of price action underneath the all-time high. That's just to be expected. Looking further ahead, we have some news. And again, this is the news that bounces us backwards and forwards when it comes to these scary times in the market, 5% drops. We got Bitcoin cracks down on Sichuan and they joined the operation to get rid of the Bitcoin mining in China because it's using too much power. So we already know about this. And this might just be something that also had a little bit of fear on the market. The stock market, the US stock markets also fell. So there's a little bit more fear on the markets. But again, we already know this. So it's not really going to do too much. And then we also see news on the flip side, Miami Mayor is enticing Bitcoin miners with cheap, clean nuclear power. So maybe they're going to get a shift over to Florida and get some more mining going on there. So this is where the news gets really confusing in these areas of the market where we're just going sideways and we're chopping uh, high and low and high and low. And it's just sort of eating up people's emotions. And once we can 
burn through all of the people and their emotions, the new investors, then we start to make that move once they're all cleared out. That's just how Wyckoff works. That's what he noticed 100 years ago. So we've got Bitcoin whales started selling as Bitcoin dipped to 37 grand. Wait a minute. We have Bitcoin whales quietly accumulating 3.4 billion in BTC in less than one month. So this is one month from the low. So we had Bitcoin whales selling. We have Bitcoin whales buying. I think Bitcoin whales obviously know that we have Wyckoff method. They're obviously playing this as well. And so it's just a matter of patience. This doesn't happen overnight. And they're going to be playing with these indicators that we see of um, money coming onto the exchanges, money not coming onto the exchanges. So as in you know, Bitcoin coming on, Bitcoin coming off, they know about those. So they're going to keep playing those games. Goldman Sachs leverages crypto management firm Galaxy Digital to swap Bitcoin futures. So they're getting uh, some more groundwork going on with futures in Bitcoin during this period as well. And I don't see this making too big of a headline, but we know of Galaxy Digital and CEO Mike, uh, Mike Novogratz. Vanderbilt explains that Goldman Sachs, the bank with 2.1 trillion AUM, may entice other financial incumbents to follow its lead. So looks like we're going to get a little bit more in the Bitcoin space. This will become bigger news later on. This is sort of how I would look to play the news longer term rather than just sort of playing it on Bitcoin is banned, Bitcoin is brought back. That's the sort of crazy newbie swings that happen. But in terms of, say, like a long term play, futures are coming, Bitcoin's getting set up here. That's sort of how I would look at news and use it fundamentally as a long term investment. Similar to, say, how Raul Pal looks at Bitcoin or other investments. And so they're the sort of things that I'll be watching there. As you can see, you know, I've gone through these and I've watched that one through to the end. It's just his views. And I don't have to agree with it 100%. But if I'm understanding how uh, someone or, you know, a long term investor starts to piece uh, different information together, then that's the way I like to improve. Uh, and so I'll do it myself as well so that I'm created my own plan, my own thoughts, so that I'm not looking to someone else to give me the answers. Another piece of news, Ethereum upgrade, which will reduce ETH supply, moves into final stages. So London hard fork will reduce, uh, will include EIP 1559, which lowers the amount of ETH miners receive. So this is coming through. We're getting closer to ETH 2.0. It's probably a year or two away at this stage, but things are happening. We're working on it. And so that's what I wanted to give you guys today. Looking at all of these massive, crazy, hidden signals that no one's watching and I'm going to reveal them to you now. What I want to reveal to you is there is no holy grail and potentially you already know that and you're not trying to go from one piece to the other. It's just like an interesting title to click and maybe you'll find some extra little news in that that you can add to your own plan and uh, enjoy that, uh, enjoy the, the benefits of learning something new. So I hope that's how you use those moving forward. This is really just one of those videos where I thought, I think it's time that we talk about how technical analysis works and it doesn't work from picking and choosing different charts which uh, work off sort of one idea and then trying to meld all these into something else. They all have to be back tested, which just means go back and see what the results were in the past and then put those together. All right. So that's, that's how we're looking at those. And there is nothing that works hundred percent of the time. Eventually the indicator that worked hundred percent of the time won't work. That's just the way these things work. Nothing is 100%. So I'll leave you with the investor accelerator or the free newsletter, drop your email address and name down below. There's the free newsletter comes out once every two weeks, looking at crypto stocks, property cycles, everything investing. So drop your email address down below. Otherwise, join us on the Investor Accelerator where you can learn about cryptocurrencies. You can be a beginner, you're intermediate. We do a lot of stuff on the course uh, on GAN and Wyckoff, looking at Wyckoff method, Wyckoff volume spread analysis as well. Join me on Twitter. Lots of cool stuff over there. This gives you a different side to me, I guess. Maybe a little more humor, maybe a little more triggers. I don't know. You can decide over there. Instagram, daily Q&As. Join us over there on stories. And I said my favorite at the moment, I wanted to show you that, is XMR. I don't think this is 100x. I don't think it's going to give me a 50x return. But in terms of its Bitcoin value, that's what I'm interested in. This is coming from a low base, a very low base. And I think from the looks of this, we are basing out above these old support levels, which broke down and now we've broken back above as some support. So we broke above the resistance coming back. So this is just a one that I'm keeping an eye on and 
slowly getting into. I like XMR. I think it has some a good potential here in the market for long-term uh, hodling, and it's at its lows on its BTC value, right? So the lows are back here at around 4,000 sats, currently sitting at around 7,000. And this went up against Bitcoin value as Bitcoin fell, whereas the rest of the market took a drop against the USD and their BTC values or stayed steady. But but M, uh, XMR played a different game on a day like today. So that's an interesting thing to note. Uh, and from this level, that's why I like risk reward. You know, I'd rather be buying it at lows because I've got more upside. Sure, it can go down. But I thought I'd mention this one to you guys. I've put it on Twitter. So make sure you follow me over there on Twitter. We'll keep updating this over there as well. I'll catch you guys at the next video or on my brother's YouTube channel, also looking at renovating and trading. So I thought I'd mention that in here. I've got him into it. If you're interested to support Michael as well, he's actually renovating a small flat, small apartment in Brisbane City. So check out his YouTube channel and also Twitter for trading, 11 years in the game. I'll leave you there, guys. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. I have an interview coming out today on GeoDB. So it's a data, a data blockchain and then also a Cardano video tonight. So check that out. See you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.